Solemn. Uh, uh, Rufus, there you are. Stay where you are. My optician knows karate. B but Rufus, it's me, Bozo. <laughs> you look ridiculous. I I ridiculously good. Uh, you don't think this hat makes my face look fat? And the ruffles pinch a little in the crotch. Nah, it's supposed to be that way. Just right for a date. And... <laughs> Is that aftershave I smell? No, it's a uh, wolf repellent. Oh, good. Uh, thinking ahead. So you're you're all set then. I don't know. Do you really think this is a good idea? Of course, it's gonna be great. Last time you said that, I got stuck on a reef. Yes, but the view was fabulous. Come on, you big baby. Oh, good grief. How did I get myself into this? You nasty rat! How many times do you have to tell you that I didn't shoot your grandpa? Well, at least not on purpose. What, Bozo? Is that really you? Uh... Come on in. I don't want to have to dispose of the body of yet another noise pollution officer in the canal. Come on! And now you tell me exactly where you have been all this time. Well, I, I, I was on my way to... Uh, what are you doing with that m machete? Please calm down, will you? Aren't you at Hulk glad to see me? Come on, Bambina. You know exactly what's gonna happen. First, you're m mad as a hornet, but as soon as I say this certain line, what's that? over this din. I think you better leave now. But out now. See, I told you. Shh. Did I just hear something? No, I don't think so. I mean, doormats can't talk, right? Despite my mighty strength, I'm not going to get anywhere without tools. The flap is screwed down. Hi-ho, hi-ho. Are you looking for trouble? Oh, come on. Sing along. hi dee dee do Man, are you lucky I don't hit the handicap?
Hey, Antioch. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do? Stamp your feet and steal my firstborn child? I wouldn't talk so big if I were you. I'm at the right height to prevent your firstborn child from ever being conceived. Yeah, I have to go. I get a pain in the neck when I look down for too long. Hey, Antioch. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do? Stamp your feet and steal my firstborn child? I wouldn't talk so big if I were you. I'm at the right height to prevent your firstborn child from ever being conceived. Yeah, I have to go. I oh, so let me I don't see a switch. Eh, no matter. With a little technical know-how, turn off. Ouch! Oh, ha! Oh! Nothing happened. <laughs> Got it. Why don't you play something else for a change? Here. The mating song of the junk crabs. Hey. Magnifico, finalmente una canzone molto romantica. As long as there is no junk crabs nearby, it's not pericoloso, eh? <laughs> Mille grazie. Mm, stronzo, is you matto, making a poof with my new sacco di aria. Now I must go to il tocco to get a replacement. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, Rufus, do you really think that's a good idea? You're not going to give up just like that, are you? To tell you the truth. Come on, one more time. Do what an oil salesman! When will you ever learn? If you prefer to have a full set of legs, you should never, ever! You again! Come on in! Come on! You've got some nerve showing up here again! I'm just like a boomerang. W wait, that wasn't a suggestion. Come on, Bambina. Can we skip this bit? All I have to do is say my line and... Do you hear the noise, dear? I'm getting annoyed here. A jack crab settled in our clock. They racket about as if to mock. The noise is fast bearing if I am not erring. A jack crab in the chronograph are having a laugh. Not again! How am I supposed to concentrate while he's yelling like that? Y you know, uh, I find it quite romantic. Out! Now! Ha! Gotcha!
Run! You're free! But don't get lost. Ancora? Oh, stupido! Stupido ganzo cretino! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, Rufus, do you really think that's a good idea? You're not going to give up just to tell you that. Come on. Freaking Girl Scouts! You will regret your persistence. As soon as I find out why my spring gun won't... You again! Come on in. Come on! You've got some nerve showing up here again. I'm just like a boomerang. Wait, that wasn't a suggestion. Come on, Bambina. Can we skip this bit? All I have to do is say my line and... Do you hear the noise, dear? I'm getting in noise here. A chakra settled in our clock The racket about as if to mock The noise is fast bearing If I am not erring A chakra in the chronograph I'm having a laugh I'm shaken, awaken, if I'm not mistaken. A chakra nesting in a clock, they racket about in the tickety tock. I doubt excluded if I'm not deluded. A prince of architects rummage our chronometer. It's late and I'm tired if I'm not wild. Junk that caused the dreadful noise in our time measurement device. What's that now? You're kidding. Trumpets and fiddling. What the crap? I'm going to snap in ice risk of skidding. How can I sleep with junk crap near the ear? What to my sorrow? I fear my dear, we have to exile that in tomorrow. Ah, not again! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <sighs> what a sight! Go ahead, Bozo! Say it! Whoa, now comes the interesting bit. <clears throat> Why, hello, dolls. Come here often. Oh, Bozo. Wow, six words that open the gate to a whole new world. Okay? Yeah, it's fine. I'll have the same again. Why, hello, doll. Come here often? <coughs> what did you say? <coughs> Why, hello, doll. Come here often? Is that supposed to be funny? I... but... First, you drag me off. 
And then you try to be cute? Why hasn't it occurred to you that I might be well and truly pissed off? Uh, well, why? Hello, doll. Come here often. Whoa! No brawling in my bar. This may be the favorite hangout of the lowest scum in town, but some rules still apply, you know. He started it. I haven't done a thing. Yeah, he's got a point. Running around like an idiot ain't a crime. Hey! But maybe being an idiot is. I said, hey! You're lucky I don't hit women. Go ahead and try. Maybe I'll start by giving you a good spanking. If you fancy a broken jaw, be my guest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here in the floating black market, we settle our differences in a civilized manner. There is only one way to get you two to quit your bickering. Platypus Bataka. <laughs> Bring it on! That doesn't mean a thing. I let her win on purpose. On the other hand, it might not be a bad idea to train my infamous Rufus reflexes. It's on! Uh... Ah! That was fun. Huh, that was fun. Maybe you're not the little idiot I took you for after all. That's because people tend to overlook my true greatness. So, what shall we get ourselves into next? Huh, oh, well, since you seem to be at one with yourself once again, I suppose we could go ahead with the surgery. Hmm, I regret that in a way. I feel oddly liberated without my snooty and my gullible traits. Ah, I could get used to the thought of dating three goals. Rufus! What? It's just that I like every aspect of you, baby. Yeah, I bet. We had better get started. This is getting crazier by the minute. I'm going to take the cartridges to Doc's lab now. Meet me there, alright? She's into me! What's going on here? Janosch? I must listen and find out what is going on in there. Why? 
What is it that's going on in there? I mean, and what are you doing here anyway? We are putting your concept into practice. What do you think? My concept? Yes, you were completely right, of course. You cannot start a revolution by just sitting around doing nothing. Therefore, we are going to actively snatch the cartridges. Whoa, wait a minute. Those cartridges contain the mind of my girlfriend. Girlfriend? In your dreams, first off, go list a functionary of the resistance. So, of course she's going to sacrifice herself for the good cause. Sacrifice? Are you totally out of your mind? Unfortunately, another organization has become aware of the Extension Codex, or could I say, an organization. What? Do you mean Donna? Precisely. The unorganized crime has held up in Doc's lab. They took Doc and Girl hostage and are trying to extort free passage. But the revolution doesn't take kindly to extortion. As soon as the clock strikes the full hour, we will system the premises. Actually, Dar left us disturbing. Liebold and I will hold this position. What? But that's completely insane. Um, so it is. I know these people. They'll stop at Nothing! You're just gonna get yourselves killed! Or me, as it is! Judge is the fate of a freedom fighter, always ready to die for the good cause. Please, don't act just yet. Maybe I can think of something. What will you do? What else? I'm going in there now. But the place is crawling with unorganized criminals. I can handle them. Hey, open up! It's me, Rufus! Yes? Uh, Yoo-hoo! Can I come in for a moment? That won't work! You can use the portal soon, but first, you have to do something for me. Here! What's this? Another remote? Yes, it's Liebold's. It seems to be an older model, but hey, I know how to use a remote. Yeah, of course you do. Liebold is the fat one, right? I'm only asking because I haven't seen an implant. You can do it. When you're finished, you can use the portal. Then I'll explain everything. Huh? What portal? Trust me, and not a word to Yanosh. What was that? The mysterious voice said I should take the portal right after I used the remote with Liebold's implant. Huh, I wonder what all these buttons do. Ah, I'll just push the biggest one. And zap! Oh, look at me! I completed an important mission. Yeah, any monkey could have done that. This sucks. What the? There you are at last. What took you so long? Just because you're from the past doesn't mean there's no need to hurry. Huh? What's going on here? Is that you, Cletus? Don't be silly. I'm your future self, of course. These portals are space-time curvatures, and this is the future. Da, 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 da. They, they call, call him, him Rufus. Rufus. Hey, that's my jingle. Not anymore. I'm more up-to-date, wiser, and way cooler than you. Is that so? But I look much younger than you do. What? You rotten baby face. Oh, I would love to give you the spanking you deserve, but I guess I can't because I'm already too senile for that. <laughs> Man, you're such a wimp. There's no way you can be me from the future. Jaw. I only said that in order to prevent a time paradox. Anybody could say that. You just don't know the first thing about time travel. Yes, I do. No, you don't. But I'm not as ugly as you are. Not true. Not true. You're even uglier than me. So there. Ha! You just gave yourself away. I know I would have thought of a much cooler reply. I actually did. I only said that in order to prevent a time paradox. Oh, yeah, right. You just don't know the first thing about time travel. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Future self. 
What a load of bull. You don't get it, do you? Was I really that dense back then? You might as well give up, Cletus. I'm not Cletus. I come from the future, you, you absolute model. You're calling me an absolute model? Yup, because that's what you are. A stupid, retarded, absolute model. Huh, I want proof. All right, anything to make you shut up. A simple test will show that you're nothing but a puffed up loudmouth. Or you, exactly. So, what am I thinking of right now? No, no, wait, wait, I remember now. You're thinking of Zeeble Zooble. Ha! Missed it by a mile, you clown. Zeeble Zooble. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. You're an imposter. I knew that right away. No, I'm not. I had to say that so I wouldn't create a time paradox. Yeah, yeah right. Just admit that I won. Why? Why? What were you thinking of if it wasn't Zeeble Zooble? Well, actually, it was... Uh, <clears throat> Hey, <laughs> future me, old pal, there you are. How's that for a surprise? I told you so. Can we finally get going now? You need to go in there and rescue Gold. So she's really in there? Is she all right? Don't panic. Wink and Nod have been put out of action. What? You overwhelmed them both all by yourself? That was nothing. Looks like you're really me after all. How did you pull that off? Ah, you'll, you'll soon figure it out yourself. Meanwhile, I'm going to take care of the rebels. Whoa, is that really a gun? No, it's a banana peeler. Of course it's a gun. Can I try it? Not now. You're headed to the lab. You need to free goal, remember? Yeah, you know what? Why don't you simply do it yourself? <sighs> now, can we fast forward this bit? Because I need to hold the fort here. And why can't I hold the fort? Because I got it. The gun. Oh, well, I'll go rescue Goal then. I'm sure I'll do it way cooler than you did, and she'll end up being much freer than she did with you. Please do it just as cool as I did, or I'm gonna dissolve. And that is really painful, you know? <laughs> Me like. Rufus! Yeah, yeah, I know. Spoil sports. But afterwards, I'll get the gun, right? Yes, sure! Him <clears throat> through the portal. Yeah, okay. And hurry, the clock's about to strike the hour here, and then the rebels will storm the office. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, what an idiot. <clears throat> Doc! Goal! You're alive! What's going on? Rufus? What are you doing? Uh, just chilling. Killing? Bite out his eyes! That might not be necessary this time, boss. It's Rufus. He's one of us. What were you doing in Doc's asbestos cabinet? I, uh, uh needed some asbestos and uh, accidentally got myself locked up. Really? You gotta be careful. I lost two ants that way. But I'm glad you're here. We're trapped here. Some weird extremists are after our ascension codes. Your ascension codes? We were just about to add them to our corporate inventory. That's why we have this crowbar. If they don't leave soon, we'll be forced to shoot our way out. Shoot them all! Tabula Raza! Wait! I've got a plan! Get on with it then. Wink's trigger finger is getting all itchy. Blasted nickel allergy. Goal. Rufus, at last, you've got to get us out of here. I'm working on it. Work faster then. After all, you're the one who got me into this mess. <sighs> so you're Lady Goal. And you are about to become Lady Rufus if you don't hurry up. What happened exactly? They were just suddenly there. Doc tried to defend me, almost like a real gentleman. A completely futile attempt. There were three of them. They were armed. Are you all right? Of course. We're having a picnic here. Really? With pancakes? That was sarcasm. Ah, yet I know. No pancakes then, huh? Don't go away. Don't you dare put the... 
Doc, are you all right? Oh, right, the gag. Uh, there, better now? Yes, all peachy. Okay, then I can leave now, right? Yes. Well, you know, it's not like we couldn't use a little help. I see. What exactly happened? They came out of nowhere. Well, actually, they came through the door. They just overwhelmed us and took us prisoner. Apparently, they're after the Ascension Codes. You think so? Well, they did say things like, where are the Ascension Codes, and so on. I tried to explain that we can't give them the codes right now. They wouldn't listen. Any ideas? Alas, no. My hands are tied, so to speak. Well, your hands are tied, actually. That, too. Perhaps Lady Gold can think of something. Her cartridge is still in the implant. This element on Donna's temple, is that also an implant? Yes, I mounted it myself. Why do you ask? I think I have a plan. I recommend that you get a second opinion. You wouldn't happen to have a remote for Donna lying about. Hey! Of course! I do have one, come to think of it. It should be in the drawer, over there. But you would have to get pretty close for it to work. Just leave that to me. Do I have a choice? Nope. Let me try something. I would cross my fingers for you, but being tied up and all that. No problem. Hey, what the... May I? Mm. Super. Two more remotes. Great. That should get things moving. Let's see. There's a label on the bottom of one. Hey, it says Donna. That should be useful. And on the other, ha, well, hello. This is the remote that future Rufus gave me earlier. The one that belongs to Liebold. Obviously, I have a plan. I just don't know what it is yet. Rats, it didn't work. That must be because there was no cartridge in the remote. Go. Rufus, at last. I found this remote. I think it belongs to Donna. What are you getting at? Well, if you would let me remove your cartridge for just a moment. Don't you dare! Wow, Doc keeps a bottle of champagne in his office. What? Where? Sorry, Goal. You'll thank me for this later. Hey! What are you doing? Nice body. Although the eye patch might impede my aim. Don't! No, it's fine actually. Was that necessary? Did you have a better idea? Yes! Too late. Oh well. One less worry, at least. Now all we have to do is subdue the rebels. All we need is a new... Don't say it. Plan. Oh. I can feel a flash of inspiration ambling in my general direction. Particles of ingenuity are wafting through the air. Hmm. Use vacuum cleaner engine with bubble gum? Perhaps later. Does it always have to be a complicated plan? I thought that's what you like about me. You seem to confuse me with Spunky Goal. Spunky Goal, but of course. I've got Lee Bold's remote, right? Everything is slowly falling into place. My past self is going to insert Spunky Goal in Lee Bold. She will then subdue Yanosh while I take care of Garleth. And voila, we're out of here. Past self. What are you talking about? Can't we just leave the same way you came in here? No, we can't. Because of the, the temporal coherence and the, and the spatial thingamy and, and, and so forth. It's complicated. Isn't it always? Uh, I'll explain it to you later. Now, we need to find Spunky Gold's cartridge. Here, might as well take this one. Hey, awesome! You're not half bad. Oh, 
only one third, actually. Just trust me. You go free the others. I'll take care of the rebels. But first, I'm gonna grab a gun. And I get Donna's remote. If it makes you happy. Oh man, this is gonna be so totally epic. <laughs> Finally, I've got a gun, too. <laughs> and who's the better man now, huh? Stupid future Rufus. Oops. <laughs> What's going on here? You again? Yeah, who else? Do you happen to know if that is our future? Our future? Rufus, I hate to tell you this, but we have no future. Oh, is that so? Just watch me. I'll see to it that we have one. No future. <laughs> that was scary. I hope the punchline is yet to come. Hey, open up! It's me, Rufus! Uh-oh, that must be me from the past. I should open up, otherwise I'll screw up causality. Yes? Uh, yoo-hoo! Can I come in for a moment? That won't work. You can use the portal soon, but first, you have to do something for me. Here! What's this? Another remote? Yes! It's Liebold's. It seems to be an older model, but hey, I know how to use a remote. Yeah, of course you do. Liebold is the fat one, right? I'm only asking because I haven't seen an implant. You can do it. When you're finished, you can use the portal. Then I'll explain everything. Huh? What portal? Trust me, and not a word to Janosch. Cool. Good thing I have a perfect memory. One little mistake, and I'd have an invalid timeline. But what happens next? Hmm. <laughs> One shouldn't live in the past anyway. Well then, let's do it. Cool. Now what? There you are at last. What took you so long? Just because you're from the past doesn't mean there's no need to hurry. Huh? What's going on here? Is that you, Cletus? Don't be silly. I'm your future self, of course. These portals are space-time curvatures. And this is the future. Da, 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 da. They, they call, call him Rufus. Rufus. Hey, that's my jingle. Not anymore. I'm more up-to-date, wiser, and way cooler than you. Is that so? Huh, I want proof. All right. Anything to make you shut up. A simple test will show that you're nothing but a puffed up loudmouth. Or you, exactly. So, what am I thinking of right now? No, no, wait, wait. I remember now. You're thinking of... Zeeble Zooble. Missed it by a mile, you clown. Zeeble zooble. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. You're an imposter. I knew that right away. No, I'm not. I had to say that so I wouldn't create a time paradox. Yeah, yeah right. Just admit that I won. Why? Why? What were you thinking of if it wasn't Zeeble zooble? Well, actually, it was... Uh... <clears throat> hey, <laughs> future me, old pal. There you are. How's that for a surprise? I told you so. Can we finally get going now? You need to go in there and rescue Gold. So she's really in there? Is she all right? Don't panic. Wink and Nod have been put out of action. What? You overwhelmed them both all by yourself? That was nothing. Looks like you're really me after all. How did you pull that off? Ah, you'll, you'll soon figure it out yourself. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take care of the rebels. 
Whoa, is that really a gun? No, it's a banana peeler. Of course it's a gun. Can I try it? Not now. You're headed to the lab. You need to free Goal, remember? Oh, well, I'll go rescue Goal then. I'm sure I'll do it way cooler than you did, and she'll end up being much freer than she did with you. Please do it just as cool as I did, or I'm gonna dissolve. And that is really painful, you know? <laughs> Me like. Rufus! Yeah, yeah, I know. Spoil sport. But afterwards, I'll get the gun, right? Yes, sure! <clears throat> Through the portal? Yeah, okay. And hurry! The clock's about to strike the hour here, and then the rebels will storm the office. All right, what a hero. I'm gonna be someone. Yeah, what a moron. Who does he think he is? But now back to the mission at hand. The clock could strike the hour at any moment now, and then I'll be ready. <laughs> All I need now is a little patience, and nobody beats me at that. Patience. Now, that's enough. Strike, will ya? Oh, come on, strike! Ouch. Did you hear that? The clock is striking the arrow. And right on the spot. It's time for your grand entrance, Dorlis. Uh, do I really have to? Quick question. Usually it's you who wins it rough paper shishers. But usually it's only about who fetches a fresh bag of chips. Stop trying to make excuses. One for all. And today, the one is you. Rufus, what are you doing here? There's been a change of plan. Goal is going to hang on to the Ascension Codes. Turning against the Resistance. Whose side are you on then? Always on the winning side. It, well, sometimes. What the... It's jammed? Ha! Ah, tough luck! Or not. Rufus? Ha <laughs> ha, very good. You made it on your own. Come with me. It's not over yet. Uh, wait a second. But, Goal, we haven't got time now for for that kind of thing. I mean, shouldn't we wait until you're, you know, back in shape? Oh well, why not? You know, you really need to shave. <laughs> Let's go. I did it! See? I told you I could! Doc? Why are you still trussed up? Lady Goal was supposed to untie you! But she didn't! She escaped to the future through the portal! She did what? Uh, uh, no problem. Spunky Goal is still outside, in Lee Bold's body. She'll make Lady Goal see reason. That wasn't Spunky Goal. That was a cleaning cartridge for my video recorder. The other two goals are still in the machine. Lee Bold doesn't even have an implant. But, but, but the remote! Oh, oh my. That means I just... Rufus! What have you done to Gorleth? And to Liebold? He seems to be quite distressed. Uh, a case of mistaken identity. I... Hey! Goal! What's this all about? I am sorry, Rufus. I just have to make one more change to your plan, I'm afraid. What? Huh? Change my plan? Yes. Once again, it's complicated, just like everything that involves you. You cause nothing but chaos. But I'm not made for that. I can no longer stay with you. Oh, come on. What brought this on? Open up! Don't even try. The door is bolted. I need a little head start if I want to find Cletus. Cletus? But what are you talking about? We were going to go to Elysium together. Save the world and all that. It just doesn't work that way, Rufus. You can't let everybody down and still be the hero. That's impossible. Hey, impossible is my middle name. You said it. It appeals to you, doesn't it? You always want what's impossible, and therefore you will never be content. You can't come to Elysium, Rufus, because you carry Deponia within you. Farewell, trash baby. But wait a sec! But Cletus is a snotty jerk! 
Cletus is not a bad person, Rufus. At least no worse than I am, and certainly no worse than you. I'm a thousand times better than that pretty boy. At least you would like to be. I forgave you for splitting my mind, for lying to me, for repeatedly putting me in harm's way, and I forgave Cletus for trying to erase my memory. Now you need to forgive me. But what about your surgery? We need to put you back together again. What for? So I will be flooded with doubt again? No thanks, Rufus. But we were going to save the world together! That may be true for Spunky Goal and Baby Goal, but I am neither as idealistic nor as adventurous as they are. I just want to go home before it's too late. But I want to go to Elysium with you! Do you really want to do that? I know you've got something to prove. Because you grew up in the garbage. Because nobody ever believed in you. But would you really be happy if you achieved your goal? No more adventures? No more plans? I don't think so. But where's the problem? Why can't we save Deponia and still go to Elysium together? Because it is mutually exclusive, Rufus. But it isn't. I know I can do it. This is about what you don't know. Have you ever asked yourself why they want to blow up Deponia? What's that got to do with anything? Everything, really. Elysium isn't the paradise you think it is. It is just a vessel, a starship, designed to leave Deponia once and for all, so that we can start over on Utopia, the nearest inhabitable planet. But Utopia is far away. There is only one possibility of generating enough energy to catapult Elysium there, the destruction of Deponia. What was that? Elysium is... what? A... Uh, a starship? Now, do you finally understand? If Depony is not blown up, then Elysium will soon fall back to the planet. We cannot live forever without a home planet. But Deponia is no place to live. We both know that. Well, what's so great about this utopia? The grass is fresh and green. The sky is blue. The water runs clear. In other words, it is not Deponia. So, Elysium is a starship? You've got it. Our fathers constructed Elysium so Deponia could be evacuated, so that we can start over on Utopia, the nearest inhabitable planet. But there was only room for a lucky few. They couldn't take everyone. Why is this all happening now? Elysium wasn't designed to float in the atmosphere forever. It took the Organon decades to build the required blast towers. They are distributed all over the planet. And now, everything's ready. Ulysses people stuck to their schedule. Elysium needs to be launched now, or it's going to fall back onto the planet. What if the Council of Elders knew that Deponia was inhabited? I don't know. Part of me always believed they would stop the blast then, but that was starry-eyed goal. Okay, I think I understand now, but... But what? But there must be a way! There are even two ways. One leads to Elysium, and from there, on to Utopia. The other one ends here on Deponia, if we survive, that is. I have made my decision, Rufus. Now, it's up to you. Then let us save Deponia together! But I've already explained. Saving Deponia would mean the end of Elysium. It would end up as just another mound of trash on this garbage dump of a planet. But I can't live like this. I thought you would be able to relate to that, Rufus. It's going to be a bit of work. So what? I've made my mind up, Rufus. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, who cares about Deponia? Just as long as I'm with you. I don't believe you mean that. Take me with you to Utopia, then. And allow them to destroy Deponia. You don't really want that, Rufus. There is too much good in you. Few people see that. You could never be so ruthless. And if you could, how would you be any different from Cletus? 
There has to be a way to accomplish both! Trust me, I can fix everything! Just like you managed to fix me! All I want is a second chance! You had your chance, Rufus. Deponia had its chance. Sometimes things are actually broken beyond repair. You can keep the other two cartridges. They contain nothing but doubts and silly ideals. I can't use those where I'm bound. I've got to hurry. Donna Submersible awaits. If I don't make it to Porta Fisco with Cletus by the day after tomorrow, it will be too late. Good luck, Rufus. But... <sighs> what a woman. Are you out of your mind? She's going to kill us all. I think she's fascinating. Most importantly, she appears to be the part that knows the Ascension Codes. We must stop her somehow. But we're locked in. First, untie me. And then we'll think of something. There is always a way. Yeah, like you need to tell me that. Malevolent karma, so close to the drama Scars us fresh doubts in her heart disarray And she left him behind, though still not in one mind Planning to reunite with her fierce fiancé But if you think it's time for a first to resign So close to the finish line, you don't know him at all For heroes gather momentum on the brink of the Megadon And sprawled by the squall, they put balls to the wall Rufus! Uh. Ah! There you are! Ready for Shishash? Uh, Janosch, there really isn't a whole lot of room on the trawler, and, uh... Yes, it's a shame I can't come. I would love to fight on the front line, side by side like way back then. They back then? Well, early today then, but alas, it's not possible. <laughs> I have a mission of my own. Uh-huh, well, that takes precedence, of course. At this point, our organization is simply not large enough to take on the Organon. You think so? Therefore, I too will travel to Porto Fisco. I'm in contact with the group there that has also taken up the fight against oppression. The passage is already booked. We are going to establish the resistance shell north, right under the nose of the Organon. How does that sound? Uh, good luck. Thanks. By the way, I must ask you a favor in this context. When you are in Porto Fisco, you must definitely pay us a visit. I'm certain that people will want to meet the spiritual father of the movement. We'll see. Here, you're going to need this. What is it? We have agreed on a new secret knock. Eh, yeah, well, the old one was a piece of crap. Exactly. Nobody was really able to memorize it. Hmm. You know, Janos, I've really got to go. Yes. Time for you to leave. Adventure is calling! So it is. It's calling. Will you finally shut up, you numbskull? At last? What kept you? Ah, we'll never catch up to the submersible this way. It's not my fault. I was harassed by some bum. Where are we going, anyway? My Donna self mentioned Portofisco, so that's where we should go. I think we should first try to locate the signal from the submersible. I seem to remember there's a radio mast on Isla Watch It. Perhaps I can manipulate the transmitter so that our sonar will recognize the signature of the submersible. By then, Donna will be long gone. No thanks. I say Isla Watch It. Bozo is the captain, and he wants to go to Fisco too, right? We can head for the polar ice cap, as far as I'm concerned. Just as long as you finally agree on something. Enough! I will decide where we're going. Uh, Rufus, those aren't the navigation controls. That's my ear hair remover. Ah.
We should visit Porto Fisco first. We should... Today is not your lucky day, Seagull. My people rummaged through every pile of garbage, but they found no trace of the girl. She was here. Why would I lie to you? I don't know. You appear to suffer from an inflated ego, just like your son. Rufus is not my son. You can do whatever you want with him. But we had a deal. You wanted a tip, and I gave you one. Can I help it if your people are totally incompetent? You are wasting my time. And I can't stand it when my time is being wasted. Hey you! Tone it down a bit! You're scaring the fish! I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I want every nook and cranny of this junk pile turned inside out once more and close off all access to the harbor. Even if a rat tries to get out of here, I want to know. That was Argus with his bloodhounds. So the Organon is already after us. Shh. He's right. We need to be careful.